the Amy Winehouse Foundation works with young people. So um, through the pandemic, we've had an increase in young people reaching out for help. I mean, it's good that people are, are reaching out for help, obviously. But, um, you know, the, these uh, statistics that we're seeing about an increase in, in, in use of substances, be it alcohol, prescription drugs or, 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 or illegal drugs, um, is obviously very concerning at a time when there are reductions in funding for addiction services. Yeah, indeed. So, and um, Mitch, of course, you set up the Amy yeah. Winehouse Foundation. Um, you've been doing incredible work over the last nine years. You've seen what's happened during lockdown. That must be so frustrating for you um, and, and for others that have found themselves in a similar position as you, losing a daughter. Well, it's not only frustrating for us. I mean, obviously, we lost our daughter. Uh, but the current situation, you know, uh, young people having to deal with loneliness and um, the other things that they have to face, homesickness, doesn't make the situation any better. We've got to try and figure out a way how those kids can get back home during terms of uh, uh, break time. Yeah, Jane, um, talk to me about youngsters who might be watching this morning who are struggling, who might have lost their jobs, who are not with their loved ones, who are locked down in universities or whatever and, and are on the, on the teetering on the edge of substance abuse. Uh, yeah, well, isolation is a big driver for, for substance misuse. Isolation, loneliness um, are, are, are big factors. We know that, um, uh, you know, and obviously, you know, financial implications, as you just mentioned there, Kay, um, that, that they're all very concerning. Um, I mean, we'd encourage people to, especially ones that are away at university at the moment for the first time in, in you know, in different surroundings, um, for people to really stay, in, stay connected with other people. Yeah. You know, people have to physically distance, but it doesn't Face mean that up. they have to, yeah, it doesn't mean that they have to um, distance themselves from their old friends and their old, that, that, you know, their, their family and people like that. Um, there are uh, lots of places where young people can get support. There's a myriad of, of uh, support provision. Um, if people look at our website, that's the Amy Winehouse Foundation .org, um, they can see places where they can um, get help. Um, with most colleges, uh, the uh, pastoral care for students is 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 very good. Colleges are, are, are generally very supportive, so um, there is help out there um, for, for people that 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 need it. Um, you've been launching a new film, I think I'm right in saying, uh, Mitch, um, uh, about the recovery from substance abuse disorders. Tell us more about that. Well, the film was produced in the USA, and it's come over here. Uh, we are one of their partners in the UK and it's a very hard hitting film about addiction and how easy it is for young people to slip into addiction. Um, the thing that resonates with me about the film is the empathy, uh, sorry, not the empathy, what's the word I'm looking for? The, 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 the most difficult thing about the film is, is the parents complete and total lack of um, understanding, that's the word I'm looking for, the understanding about what their children are going through. And they're not taking any active part in trying to get any help. They're not having any conversations with the, with the young people. And subsequently, it's making it work. They think, they, they think the whole thing's going to disappear. Mm. Um, yeah, you were right, um, you're talking about lack of empathy there, Mitch. Um, and, Jane, as far as the foundation is concerned, how do people find out more about it um, and is it aimed at the people that are suffering potentially from substance abuse or is it aimed more at those loved ones around them or, or is it both? Um, yeah, it's, I mean, as we're a charity for young people, so um, we have education programmes in school, we uh, have a, a work with people in recovery um, who go into schools, they talk about their experiences and the underlying issues that made them more um, likely to use substances to change the way that they felt. So the focus is very much on the underlying issues. We also have a recovery house for young women. Um, so, you know, and all of these projects are obviously going to be helped by, by the film because all of the proceeds from the, from the Snow Babies film uh, are going to be uh, helping to fund our services. 
Um, do you do you still listen um, often, Mitch um, and Jane, to to Amy's work? Well, uh, more than we used to. More than we used to. You know, I mean, I, I remember us. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if you remember, Kay. We spoke many years ago, and um, I couldn't bear to see Amy on the on a video or listen to her music. But you know what? I mean, the last couple, few years. I've actually begun to appreciate her music a great deal. And, um, you know, I mean, we miss her, we miss her dearly, but nothing's going to bring her back and we just got to move forward. And um, the foundation is doing great work in her name. So I think we're making the best under the circumstances. Yeah. I, I remember um, chatting to you previously, Mitch, and I remember you saying that, that it was difficult for you to listen to her music, which is why I wanted to check with you first. Do you mind if we just share a little bit with our audience? Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. Let's have a quick listen to Amy Winehouse. Yes, I've been black, but when I come back, no, no, no. I ain't got the time, and if my daddy thinks I'm fine, he's trying to make me go to rehab, I won't go, go. I ain't got 70 What a talent she was, both of you, listening to the words. I'm sure they're so poignant as well for you, Mitch. 27 years of age when she died, gone too soon. Yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that song was a result of a conversation that, that she and I had with her managers in our kitchen when we lived down in Kent. It's literally word for word uh, what happened in the kitchen, and she turned that into a song. It's quite incredible. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you miss her, but what a great talent she has left behind. And um, I often listen to her at home, actually. I, I think she's amazing. Um, thank you so much for taking the time, both of us, to both of you to join thank us this morning. Friend. We really appreciate it. Look after yourselves.